in the health circles, you hear a lot about longevity and tying in something called telomere or telomere length. If you could explain to our audience what that is, and if you think that is a viable marker in terms of uh, being objective and looking at longevity. Um, yeah, it, it was one of the early markers of aging that we had, besides just looking in the mirror. Um, and so telomeres, just to remind everyone, is oh, the, the, the aglets, the ends of the chromosome, the aglet like a, the end of a, a shoe, um, shoelace. And as we get older, you can see that those telomere ends of our chromosomes get shorter and shorter. Uh, and if you cause that to happen very quickly in a mouse, it will get old looking. Now that's part of the story. It's certainly not the whole story because not all of our cells divide and lose their telomeres, but we still get old. We get old brains as well. But it is part of my overall information theory of aging in that loss of these ends does contribute. But also what we're finding is they have a dual role, is that they don't just lose the genetic material, the DNA, but the proteins that sit on the ends, including the sirtuins, by the way, they're at the ends in yeast and in human cells. When the, the ends get short, then these proteins go off and do things that they shouldn't do as these ends get shorter. So really, the, the telomeres, you want to have long telomeres because they actually are part of this slowing down of the scratching process. So if you can lengthen them, it would be a good thing as long as it's safe. Now, one of the drawbacks, potential drawbacks that people have talked a lot about is that cancer cells like to have long telomeres because they, they like to grow. Um, and telomeres are thought to slow cancer cells from multiplying. That's theoretical. And actually, the more studies that have been done, the less that seems to be the case. So I'm, I'm less concerned about the safety issue. I'm just more focused on things that address not just the telomeres, but all the various causes of aging, of which there are, are at least eight that we need to address. And if we only address one at a time, we're not going to have the big gains that I'm hopeful we will.